His nephew matches the shooter's photos by 85%. Let me repeat that, 85% biometric match. Same detached earlobes, 28 millimeter nose bridge, 105 degree jawline, angular face shape, 1.4X eye spacing, same. Same tan complexion and hollow cheeks and square chin. So over the next few minutes, you're gonna see exactly what the damning evidence is that Build AI has been able to develop the actual facial recognition software that we needed to identify all of the anomalies in Tyler Robinson's photos and the shooter that they've been saying killed Charlie Kirk. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's get right into it. Let's start with something that you cannot fake, earlobes, okay? You cannot fake earlobes. Look at Tyler Robinson's verified photos from Dairy Queen. These are the verified ones. I have my discrepancies on it, but for now, what AI is telling me is that this is an authentic photo and his maroon shirt picture, right? At the Dairy Queen. See that attached earlobe? The lobe connects directly to his face. There's no gap. This genetic controlled gene is called RS1782293 gene. You cannot fake this, okay? This is natural biology. Now look at the shooter's photos hat, sunglasses, the stairs photo, the detached earlobe really just says it all. It's hanging free. So that's a 15 millimeter separation right away. You can't change this without surgery. It's quite literally impossible. And this alone really proves that there are two different people at the very least, okay? But it gets worse. I ran forensic biometric analysis using the same protocols that the FBI uses. Look at the nose bridge width, 22 milliliter millimeters on Tyler Robinson, which is a narrow bridge, consistent across all of his verified photos, by the way. Now look at the shooter, 28 millimeters, which is a 27% difference. Maximum natural variance between photos of the same person should be max 10%. Right now we're showing a 270% plus beyond that threshold. The probability that this is the exact same person is literally 0.00001%. That's four zeros and a one of 1%. 1 That's not my opinion. This is forensic mathematical analysis. I, this is not me telling you what I think and I did a bunch of math. And No, this is an actual forensic AI analyst that is being able to do this at a FBI level. The probability is just way uncanny. You can't, you can't say that this is real and that they're telling us the truth based off of this. I mean, I'm not, I'm just a civilian, but at the same time, I've spent weeks, if now months doing this, building this particular application. So here's where it even gets more interesting than that. Phil Lyman's nephew, the gubernatorial candidate uh, guy running for Utah governor, his nephew uh, by the way, he owns properties along all, all over the place, but uh, the exact same route of the escape. His nephew matches the shooter's photos by 85%. Let me repeat that, 85% biometric match. Same detached earlobes, 28 millimeter nose bridge, 105 degree jawline, angular face shape, 1.4X eye spacing, same. Same tan complexion and hollow cheeks and square chin. Tyler Robinson only has a 20 to 35% match, and that's different person territory. When you run clustering analysis, that's AI's uh, grouping similar faces recognition. Look what happens. I'll show you right here in this chart. Two completely separate clusters. So you've got group A, which is Tyler's real photos, clustered together at 85% similarity. Then you have group B, the shooter's photos, clustered with nephew, um, Phil Lyman's nephew at 82% similarity. So these are weak connections between the groups. 25%, that's not even close to the same person. It's not speculation. This is mathematical proof. Over 99% certainty that these are different individuals. Now let's talk a little bit about the bone structure. See, Tyler Robinson has a soft jawline. It's got a 115 degree angle. The shooter has a sharp jawline with 105 degrees. So that's already there now, a 10 degree difference. There's too many anomalies here. You can't change the bone structure. This requires a completely different skeleton and to be a different person in general. The, sh the shape of Tyler's face is round to oval, okay? 
the shooter has an angular square style face, head, what have you. That's a 75% morphological variance. The maximum natural variance should be 15%. This is five times higher than that that should be possible. Now, why would Phil Lyman's nephew be involved? Just consider this. Let's not jump to any actual answers here, but let's just consider some theories, okay? Phil Lyman owns multiple properties along that escape route. The shooter fled through Lyman's properties on Lyman's aunt's video camera. Lyman was running against Spencer Cox. There could be something there. The nephew was in the area, obviously went and took pictures. And why go and do all of this stuff? Like, this seems way out of character. The nephew also matches 85% of the shooter. Here's the kicker. Google searches for Tyler Robinson spiked in D.C. and in Israel the day before the shooting. Somebody is setting him up. They arrested Tyler Robinson with, within hours. No investigation, no biometric analysis. Just grab the first person who loosely fit the description or actually loosely fit whatever they thought the description was so we could get our little information from them that we believed, hypothetically. The real shooter is probably still free. I'm telling you that right now. Protected by political connections. This is forensic grade court admissible evidence, okay? If they ran my code through forensic grade analytics, it would come out as court admissible. Tyler Robinson is innocent, 99.9%, .9%, which is my opinion, and so is my AI agent called Build AI's opinion. I mean, I don't know if AIs have opinions. If you care about justice, you must share this now. They are censoring every single video that I put out talking about this. You've got to do it before it disappears. Tag the FBI, tag journalists, tag everybody. I don't care. I'm not scared and I'm not suicidal. An innocent man is in custody, most likely. The real shooter is, in fr is free, most likely. And now you've got at least more proof. Go and look more of my videos. I'm going to link the evidence files down below. I'll make it open source so you can look at it yourself. It's just an HTML file or an SVG file you can open up in your browser. I hope that this helps. I'll see you in the next one. I remember that fire and the broadcast glare You felt Charlie didn't care Sniper slips through the air Didn't always agree, but I had to stare He spoke conviction when few would dare Politics messy, truth gets bruised Still we learn from the way he refused To hide from the fight, to stay confused He made us question the lens we use We rise for the voices that won't back down Still shake the ground Even when the spotlight fades to black The message lives where the signal's found Yeah, Talk shows, protests, camera spent He sparked the bait from deep within Left to right, the goal was sight To push our minds, told what's right From halls of faith to college gates He chased ideas, he challenged fates Everywhere to call to stand Agree or not, you understand some teach peace, some teach fire He taught believe to never tire We keep that flame, we keep that drive Cause I wish we could find Charlie alive We rise for the voices that won't back down Echo through the static to shake the ground Even when the spotlight fades to black The message lives where the signal's Truth. They silence your voice. We got the mic now, big dog.